One of the big questions with the COVID-19 pandemic has been how long immunity may last for those who have been infected or have gotten the vaccine. A new study by researchers at UC San Diego School of Medicine is raising concern maybe not as long as we were hoping for. And we're joined by one of the senior authors of this study, Dr. Maurizio Zanetti. And Dr. Zanetti, welcome. Thank you for hosting me. So a little background here. You looked at a pretty broad range of data as part of this study. Yes, we did. Uh, it was driven by curiosity, essentially, because we wanted to know uh, what uh, if the mechanism that sustain uh, the initiation and the persistence of uh, specific antibody responses that will impact uh, transmission uh, by preventing infection. Um, how is that mechanics within the immune system uh, works? And uh, our study, uh, and the study was done in collaboration with uh, Dr. Hannah Kanter, a medical geneticist, uh, interrogated the uh, set of molecules that set themselves as referees of the immune response in, uh, in humans. Uh, the, the, the same system is the one that regulates uh, uh, transplantation between uh, of organ transplantation between different uh, individuals, and we found that uh, the the spot that is uh, specifically implicated in uh, binding to the receptor on uh, human cells or by the virus, and which is obviously in everybody's eyes the uh, the Achilles heels of the of the virus uh, is surrounded by um, amino acid that together do not support a, on a global sense the induction of the cells that are necessary to work in tandem with uh, the antibody producing cells. Uh, therefore, uh, suggesting that uh, there may be a human in general may have a difficulty to make and sustain specific, qualitatively specific antibody responses that will intercept the virus before it gets into the cell. Let me uh, frame this in more layman terms. You and I had a chance to talk earlier. It seems as though we had a report just a few minutes ago that we are going to be stuck with this virus for a while based on your study and other studies we've seen because genetically we are just somewhat wired to receive the virus? Well, more than wired to receive the virus, maybe genetically wired not to respond in the strongest possible way to keep it at bay. And uh, this is the news of the paper. Obviously, it is a prediction made over uh, the entire set of uh, genes that cover the human population. Uh, if the method of analysis are correct, as we, uh, we think they are, then we found that there are um, issues with uh, the, the genetics of, the, of humans vis-a-vis -vis this virus. The conclusion is what you said, and maybe the virus is going to stick around for quite some time. And your argument would be, and as you said, you yourself have gotten the vaccine, is not that we would throw out the vaccine, but in fact, we may end up taking the vaccine more often. Well, that is correct. And uh, you may see in the, in the near future that the vaccine are going to be changed at Taylor to the uh, evolving um, a spectrum of mutation that the virus is accumulating as we learn them. Uh, and so the vaccination is still the most effective way of controlling the, a, a viral infection and a pandemic in this particular case, but there may be adjustments uh, along the way. And I think they are already in place but on the part of the pharmaceutical industry. And we continue to learn more along the way, as you say. Dr. Maurizio Zanetti, senior author of this new study by UC San Diego School of Medicine, thank you so much for your insights this morning. Thank you very much for having me there.